Okay. So, here's the basics what I got so far. So, here's some wall structures. Role playing game. It's very vague, so a lot of game. Okay, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm working towards then. So, I guess it still qualifies. So, here's the basic wall structure I have. And check out this interesting glitch I found. If you go like this, it, <laughs> it makes it look a little bit more 3D, like there's a hidden passage in here. Which gave me the idea that I kind of want to make it so you can do that, where you can have a wall. Then you can remove this texture and then put a doorway right here so you can walk through walls. So I think that'll be cool. And then here's my testing walls and floors. So here we have the connection snap points. And then I like how I just spelled wall and floor on them. So yeah, I made textures for this for every type of wall. So I'll have so I'll have like slanted roofs, halves, quarters and stuff. Then we have the health bar up there. And as you see, every time I push shift to run, the stamina bar went down. So I can run, I can jump. Gravity's still a little bit wonky. I feel like I float a little too much. So we'll have to work on that. I have a basic pickup system, don't have inventory, so that kind of just shows up there. Uh, I think I fixed the lighting so that it's a lot more cartoonish. Before it was just like ray casting light, so it was like more like this rather than like this. Um, I have to fix the base material count material because it's doing this, and I don't know why. Oh, sorry, I'm just kind of like rambling about all the cool stuff that I've been working on, but check this out. I have God rays on everything. I freaking love how that looks. Go over to the screen, chop, chop, chop. Oh, I clicked out the game. So you chop that down and get wood, chop that down. Oh, no way, I just realized, yeah. So my stamina's at zero and I can't run anymore. Cool. So the pain system, so yeah. I'm taking pain and then I heal. I don't have stamina hooked up to that, so yeah. God's name was Ray. <laughs> oh yes, it's God Ray. <laughs> Little bugger. Okay. So yeah, that's that's everything I kind of got right now. Uh, I was trying to see if I could get the God Rays to work through the uh, windows because they make the shadows. So I was thought they would, but they kind of just stop at the front. Like it glows like it's trying to, but yeah, I'm not seeing any come through, which is unfortunate. They were able to go through the last time. Like in the last version of the game, so. And I love the walls. So, so cool. Yeah, but the lighting's still very weird. Like, I built the walls before and I never had this problem where it deletes a wall. Actually, does it delete the whole wall or just. Whoa, that is trippy. So the wall is still here, but if I look to the side, it's not. <gasps> Wait, no, I know what's going on. It's the same problem with this guy. Yeah, no, so it's not deleting. See, look, he's disappearing right now. It's layering. That's the problem. Yeah. So the computer doesn't know what layers on top, so he gets covered. I think I need to lower my camera. I think I'm a little bit too high. Listen to me, you little whelp. I'm the king now. <laughs> dead demolished reduced to atoms but yeah so that's kind of what i have the new system so far i think last time i got way too in depth into getting the animations to work getting the ai to work and it made everything incredibly messy and a super massive pain to work with so i so i started a new world we well, started a whole new project and then started from scratch so yeah we got character working now I want to get 100% of the character working before I work on anything else. So he needs to be able to run. He needs to he needs to be able to have an inventory. He needs to be able to connect, collect stuff, interact with stuff, and do basic uh, attack detection. And take damage, which I think what he technically does, so yeah. So that's what I gotta do for that. And then, so I think my roadmap is gonna be 100% player control. Like, player set. Then it's going to be a very basic build system where instead of... Yeah, thanks. I'm, I'm really happy with how this is coming out. Where instead I'm going to do um, basic wall building. So it's just going to pop out walls. Because before, I want there to be actually construction levels. So when the... Here's, here's my idea. So, there'll be... You can either build a, by yourself 
like Minecraft, be solo and just do your own thing. My goal is to also have it be like mine colonies where you can have colonists and you can have them do all your work for you. So essentially what would happen is that I have to make a lot of freaking textures for this, but essentially walls wouldn't be placed. They'd have to be built. So you'd get a, so you'd get the wooden frame set down first and then the builder over time would bring materials and they'd build it. But for the player, when they place a wall, they just get a wall. They don't have to go through the construction process. It's just like, if you have the materials on hand and you place the wall, you get the wall. Also, if you misplace a wall, you don't lose materials if you remove it. I hate every game that makes... Space Engineers does this. I love Space Engineers, but I hate that they do this. If you misplace a block, there are some blocks in Space Engineers that you don't get back because you have to destroy it to move it. I do not like that. So I want it to be like, you can place it, you can pick it up and move it. Um, I think, though, if it's AI, I think I will make there be like a slight material loss if you tell AI to deconstruct a building. Because I feel like that should be a bit more realistic. Oh, that's why I love Valheim. You get full resources back, right? Yeah, like, if I put it down, I want it back. So yeah, that's that's kind of how the building system is going to work. There's going to be levels and stuff. So I want so this is so let me give you this is a level two or three wall. You can just you can. So usually it's just this. I want to see what happened. What it looked like if you stacked them. And I really like how you, they look when you stack them. But um, yeah, so this is a level three house construction. So it's going to start with um, you start with log cabins. Then you go to cut planks. Then you go to paper and wood buildings. This could be paper, wood, and stone, and then stone, and then smooth stone, essentially, is what I'm thinking. Like brick, I guess. I'll still have to figure out how to do the lighting, because point light's very expensive on the GPU. Like, I had 10 in a, in a world, and it slowed down. Like, I lost 60 frames. So can I see my frame rate? Let's see if I remember how to do this. Um... Immersive mode. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Because, uh, like, moving base. Yeah, so. Okay, so you're running at 112. But it doesn't say in-game, though. Can I set it to say in-game? That's advanced... What the? I can see AI. Chaos. Chaos user. Chaos thread. Chaos joint. <laughs> the blunt of the chaos gods. Game view. Can I see? Ooh, okay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Why are you still here? Go away. So yeah, um, the red arrows, those are decoration spots. So that's where torches will be able to be placed. But yeah, I hope to have things better. So we'll also have to do player sounds, I just realized. Player. And here's the thing. I, I would absolutely love multiplayer. <laughs> that sounds incredibly hard to set up, especially with like AI systems and all that. I want to, I think what I'm going to do is to reduce the amount of strain of inventory. Essentially, um, oh yeah, here's here's an idea I had. The character will almost never have actual building materials on hand to build. Instead, the player is gonna have a chest. In a in so a chest in a base. And every crafting station will just have access to the chest. You won't have to. Oh, I need five steel. Let me go get it. I need, I need five wool. I need to go do this. And I, like, I, I get it's more realistic that way, but I, it gets tedious when you have to do it a lot. So I want to have a system where you, you, j it's just inventory is all connected. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to have thirty different chests all over your base. It's just gonna be here's your storage, and it ha and every station has access to it. And likewise, I feel like that's how I want the, um, the inventory of the colony to be like or the kingdom 
where you're going to build stock houses that they just hold the base material of everything you have. They, they're not organized. They're not like, you know, in rows or something. It's just like you have 800 wood, you have 800 stone, you have 800 wool, like just like that. That's bare minimum resource requirement. And to increase the amount you need, instead of building like another stock house or warehouse, we'll be like, oh, now resources need to go to this warehouse. And like, I love, um, hold on. I love manor lords. I hate inventory management like that, the, the way they do it. Because, like, every warehouse is separate inventory, which is realistic. But with AI, it's very annoying to move everything around. And, like, half the time, everything can't even access it. So I just want to have one inventory system where everything in the kingdom is right here. Or, like, it's all accessed in one file. And you can have multiple warehouses to access it. And that's where... NPCs will go to get materials and carry it to the build spots. But yeah, so that's that's my inventory plan. Additionally, here's here's some interesting thing, things I'm thinking. So let me launch the game real quick. Okay, I gotta go get some things done, man. Good progress, very cool ideas. Sounds like a fun game to play. All right, yeah, thanks. Thanks for your feedback. I'll just keep rambling on for a bit. So thirdly, um, how I think I want to do stamina. So stamina is the same as mana in this game. So every magic you do is going to cost you stamina. Well, actually, mana is just stamina. In this game, it's just called mana. So your mana is everything you can do. So running, that's going to cost mana. Jumping, that's going to cost you mana. Um, using a heavy weapon, I think that's going to cost you mana. So essentially, I think it'd be interesting if um, you only get a set amount of mana per day. And that's going to drain over the course of the day. Now, as you get stronger, you can do more stuff, and it's pretty easy to refill. Just sleep, I think, and you'll get your mana back up. But I think I want to do it that way because I want to have that be implemented into the dungeon system where, like, I really want to, like, my problem with, like, Minecraft dungeons, like, not the Minecraft dungeon game, but, like, dungeons in Minecraft is that it's a nonstop grind, essentially, you do. Like, where you push to the next room, and you get a health potion, you drink it, and you keep going. And you get you get a mana potion, you drink it, you keep going. You get a new piece of armor, so you put that on, and you keep going. I want there to be breakpoints where it'd be like you can't, like you can't craft something in the dungeon. You can't pull out a potion or something in the dungeon, essentially, unless you had it prepped already. So what I'd like to do is they basically have it be dungeons will be progressed through resting points. So you have to fight your way to resting points, and when you get to a resting point, you set up a camp. It's like, okay, you're resting, you get full mana back, and you can be allowed to make potions, repair armor, and do all this stuff. So I want it to be more like an expedition rather than a non-stop grind like Minecraft is. Because I like the idea of like breaking it up so you can't just keep going, but rather you have to be like, okay, no, let me stop. Let me make sure I have all my equipment ready before I go into this next section because I have no idea what's in store. Like, I like that idea. Like, I like going into a system being like, okay, hold on, let me prep. And let's do this. I like that. So that's the kind of system I want to do. I, don't, I think mana will regenerate slowly over the day. So it's not like you're going to be completely like, like you won't be able to run if you can't sleep. I think it'll be more of a, like, I think, um, I think there might be a minimum that it can refill to, like maybe like 10%. Where like you get 90% is like, this is at your peak. This is like when you'll be able to do your most damage. This is when you'll be able to do your most ma intensive magic. But then when you use that 90%, then you're exhausted and you only have your 10%, which is your basically like sprint for a little bit, like sprint for, let's say maybe like 30 seconds. Because I like games that let you sprint for a while. So sprinting and jumping, those will be like sprinting, jumping, mining resources. Those will be very mana minimum usage because I don't want someone being exhausted collecting resources. That's not fun. I want to be like, oh, you're using a spell. That's mana intensive. You're constructing a whole set of armor with a high difficulty rate. That's going to take a chunk of ma a mana out of you. So more like that stuff. What's And that's, I feel like that's going to force people. Well, I don't want to say force. I feel like that's going to be encouraging people to then use the AI because they'll never have, well, some will get mana drains. It depends. But essentially the AI, they'll do their tasks nonstop. They won't need a mana break. No, they're, they'll sleep to keep up, you know, the illusion of life, but they'll, they'll do 
They'll do their own thing. So they'll keep on the grind set. So yeah, that's that's the updates. Those are what I've been working on. Ugh, but yeah, I would have done like to do more because it's summary, you know, you're more fun. But stats and accounting sucks. It's just stupid, stupid stuff like pure stupidity. Like stats only exists because people like being douchebags. Like the fact that the term mean even exists. It's average. That's what mean is. It's average. And it's like, why? Like, why do I like, you know, like I'm all for schools make, do, giving me difficult stuff to do to like, you know, get me in the mindset of like, hey, I can do difficult stuff. I already know I can do difficult stuff. I've caught on fire at work once and I still didn't quit. Like I can do hard stuff. I just want to learn how to do my job. Stats and accounting is not part of my job. It will never be I will quit on the spot if a if a boss tries to make me do statistics or accounting or the accounting that is used in school. I seriously doubt accounting is anything like the ones in school. Because Accounting is just so freaking like if you have this percent and they did this and they did this and then it's all like past tense stuff that happened like a year ago. That's what accounting classes are. It should just be like, hey, like, just give me like. The company bought this factory this today. What would effect would that have? Teach me that. Not like they did this, this day, this, that day, this, this, say that day, and this, and this, and that, and this, and this, and that. You also got sued by the corporations and this and that. And it's like, that's so inefficient. Like if an accountant can't keep up, have a talk with them. Instead of making every U.S. citizen, U.S. U.S. <laughs> U.S. student technology management pursuer learn this crap. It's just annoying. Also, I made a block for some reason. It's a nice block. <sighs> Ooh. Why am I jumping so Let's see. I just think I want to be able to jump higher. Oh, yeah. And I also want to have equipment that is more like Minecraft equipment where it's like, oh, uh, knockback resistance, fire resistance, poison resistance. I want to add jump height, sprinting. Um, uh, maybe cool slow down time stuff. Not sure how that would work. That's again, that's more of like the long term final sprinkles of detail. But yeah, I can't wait till I get the building system because I freaking love giant walls. So cool. I'll have to like also integrate like health systems into these, which I, I do worry how intensive those are going to be because I have every wall have health and then I'm going to need to have a system where because I do have weather effects. Let's see, this. It's so weird. Yeah, this is showing up on that. Weird. Anyways. Yeah, I want to have weather systems where, like, there's snow that piles up at the top and stuff. And then I want to make it so that when a wall is completely or something is completely surrounded, these walls and the floor and ceiling will disappear. So that way we are, we're not generating useless surfaces that uh, we don't even see. So, yeah. That's everything. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. But you never paid me, never. Oh no, you didn't. Payback is a-coming, you will be running forever. Oh no, you didn't. Until I get my vengeance, I will never end this mayhem. Oh no, you didn't. I'm a mercenary, you ain't got a prayer, you owe.